Hey there, I'm really excited to show this recent case study from a client that we've been working with where we were able to set up their automated email and drive over $73,000 a month in sales. Now, it's going to look pretty complicated, but I'm going to simplify it for you in this video. And if you want the 21 emails that we use and send out, stay with me till the end and I'll tell you where you can steal them from me. All right, so let's get started. Here's the client that we've been working with, seeing really great results. And what they had was they had their marketing, they had their advertising, they've been in business for years, but they had no follow-up. And when we come in, we try to implement the best follow-up to build relationships with your customers. So not only are they going to get more sales from the very beginning, but you're going to get more long-term sales, more reviews, more referrals, and repeat sales as a business. So here's how we lay out the email flow. And it's all about what type of business do you have, but most importantly, who are your customers? Now, wherever your customers are coming from, whether you want them to schedule with you, purchase directly from you, or you want to send abandoned carts if you're an e-commerce store, you really want to think about it more of a relationship. It all comes down to relationships. Most businesses, their customers are not ready to buy today. So what we want to do is once they come and visit our website, we want to make sure that they take some sort of action, whether that's adding their email to the cart so they can be sent down the abandoned cart funnel or filling out a form to get a coupon code, or just filling out a form to get something of high value. So if you go to our website, you can sign up for our newsletter, or you can download my free follow-up blueprint. And what that's gonna do is get you right in this action step. So what's the thing that you can give away for your to your customers to get their email address so you can follow up? Less than 1% of people will take action on your website the first time they visit. So we wanna be able to add them to this follow-up system. From there, we can do a couple things. We can ask them to schedule and make sure that they show up. Or if they're, you're an e-commerce business, we can add them to the abandoned cart so we can follow up with them. Either way, once they give you their email, we want to start following up with a series of five to six personal educational style emails to build and continue that relationship. So really step one is think about something you can give away in exchange for an email address on your website or on a lead magnet landing page. From there, you want to send them a personal email right away or the next day. You're going to see this if you ever sign up for my newsletter. As soon as you sign up for my newsletter, I send you an automated email to build that relationship. I even send one the next day to make it super personable so I can learn more about you and your business. So what is that one thing you can do to automatically send an email out to your new leads? Start that relationship. Ask something about them. Give them something of value. Maybe tell them something about you and your story to make it personal. Now, either the next day or two days after, we want to really send an email every two days as soon as they come into your website. You want to send something educational. This is something of value that can help them, something that they can learn from to make them want to work with you and see why you're the expert. Why should they work with you? If you show that you are the one that's educating, that you're the one that's the expert in the field, and that maybe you're the one that can help them, whether that's by product or service, send them that information in email too, that they can learn from you and see that you're the expert. The next email is you want to send them something of value. So a lot of times I send a free training, a YouTube video that they can learn from and that's valuable that they can implement. I also send my automated emails that you can copy and paste and free tips. What is something of value that you can send them? Now, during this whole period, you can be following them on social media. You can be asking them to subscribe to your channels. You can really be asking them to respond back to continue building that relationship. But either way, you want to do personal, educational, and then value. Next, if you're a service type business and you want them to schedule with you, make sure you put that scheduler as soon as they take action. As an example, on our website, as soon as you fill out any type of form, like the blueprint, I invite you to schedule a call on my calendar. From there, I send an automated email to make sure you actually show up. So you'll get a, a form that you have to fill out in order to make it to that call because I don't want no-shows, right? I don't want people wasting my time. So we send an automated email after someone schedules for somebody to fill out a form, give us more information so we can be prepared for the call. But what that's really doing is pre-qualifying to make sure that they'll actually show up. Because if they're not willing to take any action before the call, most likely they won't show up. 
Now, what happens after the call, I think is the most important. That's the follow-up. And that's where we invite anyone that follows, shows up to a scheduled call with us. We invite them to either subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, connect with us on LinkedIn. And that's what this business did that we worked with. They have a scheduled appointments. So we get people to show up for the webinar, to schedule a call, to actually show up for the call. And then most important, follow them on Instagram after the call so they can stay top of mind. From there, whatever happened on that scheduled call, you want to remind them a few days later whether you wanted them to buy, whether you wanted them to respond back to an email, something within that first week, you want to make sure that you remind them on whatever you spoke about on that call because people get busy, they get distracted. Now, if you're in e-commerce or sell any products or courses or online, abandoned carts are not just for e-commerce businesses, it's also for entrepreneurs and people selling products on their website. As soon as somebody comes to the cart, you want to be able to follow up with them. So we send multiple emails after the abandoned cart. Most businesses only send one. So this client, for an example, they have a course. You can either schedule, watch the webinar, or join the course. Now, as soon as somebody would come to the course page, we would send that abandoned cart if they didn't buy. Remember, 99% of people won't buy. So we want to follow up with them here. And that follow-up is going to build that relationship. Hey, we noticed you were interested, but you didn't buy. Please respond back if you have any questions or anything I can answer so they do buy. Most of the time, 50-50, they'll respond back. Yeah, I do have a few questions before buying. You make it easy for them, answer those questions. That's what increases those sales. From there, you want to send another email. You don't want to just stop it. You also don't want to just make it about the sale. So the next day, we send them a story. So this business is, that I'm talking about today, they send a story about how their brand was started, how it was personal, where they came from and where they're at now, how many people they've helped, what this exact service will do to help this person that's reading the second email. That story builds the relationship. From there, since you knew that they were interested and they still haven't bought, give them your best offer. Give them a coupon code. Give them a bonus, but something. Hey, we know you're interested, but you're just not ready to buy yet. So here's an extra coupon code or here's a bonus if you do end up purchasing because we think it'll be a good fit. Now, as soon as you build a relationship, you educate, you remind, you don't wanna just drop off a cliff. Not everyone was ready to buy today. Not everyone was ready to buy next week or even next month. So you wanna add all three of these, no matter where anyone is in the system, to your newsletter. And you wanna continue following up every week, every other week, or every month until they are ready to buy. Hey, maybe they'll even have someone to refer to you if they're not ready or if they don't want to work with you. So that's the key. Continue staying top of mind with emails, building relationships, and educating. Hope this video brought you a ton of value. Thanks again for watching. And right below in the first comment of this video, you'll see where I add where my 21 automated emails are. The exact emails that we actually implemented into this business right here, you could copy and paste and implement into your business. So go check out that link and use that for yourself. And if you need another video to help you with setting up these automations in your system, I'll go ahead and recommend a video right here that you can actually use and learn how to copy and paste these into your email marketing system. So again, thanks again, and I will see you on the next video.